So uh, this is kind of an addition of soup, not in the halls, but in the basement. I'm in the basement of Kellogg Middle School, where we are with the Inconceivable Robotics team. They are in the early stages of building a robot, which they will um, uh, have in competition at the end of their season. So these are students from a bunch of different Rochester schools. We're going to talk to them as they're doing their work. Not all of them are building the robot. Some are getting ready to market the robot and do the finance to pay for the money. And then we'll talk to a few of the kids uh, and see what it's like um, and why they showed up here on a Wednesday night in the basement of Kellogg Middle School to build robots. Oh, look at this. I, I have a nameplate. Look at that. That's very impressive. Was that manufactured here? Uh, pretty much all manufactured here. Okay, so if robots can do the 3D printing by themselves, that starts to freak me out because isn't it robots taking over the world then? I mean, kind of. So what drew you to robotics? Why are you here? Um, I was really interested in engineering as a career path, so I thought robotics would be fun to just try it out. And how, obviously you're still here, so how has it gone? Do you like it? Um, this is my first year, but I really like it here. We have genuine action happening here. As simple as you can, what's the basic way the competition works? Sure. So, at its core, um, there's alliances, and they compete in the game. So this year, we have the notes, uh, which are these orange rings. Um, so you got to figure out how to take those and then shoot them uh, into various places on the field. And robots just go and cycle as fast as they can. Uh, and just compete head to head. Tell us what you're doing here. So right now I'm making a mount that will be going onto the robot so when the arm comes flat it's gonna hit this and it's gonna stop it so it doesn't go any further, it doesn't break anything. And, and I gotta ask, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think of the like lime green color for the team? To be honest, I don't really like it. Yeah, I have to say the first time I came uh, I was like, interesting fashion choice but it's strong and they're not backing off of it. No, they're, we're, we're a bold team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they're drilling out plates and um, sheets of uh, polycarbonate, looks like, for so it can place onto the robot for armor and like like holding stuff together to build our robot for parts that we can't just buy online. Yeah. How important is the rubber duck on the 3D printer to the success of the printing? Oh, it's essential. It lifts everyone up around here when they're moving around. So like how many weeks from now will this start to look like the robot I saw last year where it's moving around and stuff like that? How long does this take? At week zero, which is next Saturday, uh, we'll have this robot and it's just a scrimmage. So we compete in that. And then we also have um, two competitions, two regionals this year that we will go to uh, two weeks after week zero and six weeks after week zero. So like on a Wednesday night when you guys are working, how many weeks from now will you guys be prototesting it like around the room, how far away is that? Um, I'm pretty sure we already did a drive test and we already did a shooting test separately, but we have, so we have yet to put the manipulator onto the, which is what we call the shooter, um, onto the actual robot and then do both at the same time. So we've done them each individually, but we haven't like made them one and the same yet. Okay. We might want to come back for that actually. So we are back several weeks later, the robot exists and we are now going to see the results of all of that incredible hard work that we saw several weeks ago and it's got to get the little donut thingy into the hole and do a bunch of other stuff but when it is in competition it's going to be doing all of this with other robots in competition so this is just a glimpse of the crazy excitement uh, of a robotics competition
So I'm here with Tanisha. Tanisha is the project manager for this whole thing. Tanisha, good luck. What's your prediction for how the team's gonna do in competition? I think we have a chance of going to Worlds this year. Going to Worlds. You know what, even if you don't, you guys are amazing. We are proud of you. And you're gonna go to Worlds. Yeah, we are. I love it. I think we've been improving rapidly and I think we're gonna continue to do so this year. That's awesome. If you're interested in robotics, it's a great thing to do. You should join. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, the signing off from the basement of Kellogg Middle School where the Inconceivables robotics team is getting ready to go to competition. And um, all of Rochester is going to be pulling for them, whatever the result. Signing off. <laughs>